Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly, 25, 52. Um, I have more talking recorded where I'm talking about University of Washington and that, that, uh, an angsting about schools and this and that and the other thing. Um, but it's not that exciting, so I don't think I'm going to post it. Um, and also, as I told you previously, um, though if anyone else is watching this, I may not have told them, uh, I'm going to Seattle. I'm going to be moving to Seattle. I'm going to University of Washington for a Master's of Public Health uh, focused on policy, health policy, um, starting in the fall. So that's really cool. I have gone through my reasoning to so many people over the past couple days. I actually ha still haven't told my employer which school I chose. Um, because things keep coming up at lunchtime, that's when I would say something. Um, and also because, like, last night at Seder I had to go through the whole, oh, oh you know, why'd you like this school better than the other school? What would you use to base your decision? Yeah, da 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 Like, I used things. I put words and facts. Well, actually, I was going to say I put them in pro-con lists, but I started doing that. And then I just basically started rambling for a while, and eventually the right answer came out. Um, talking with Pat, at Pat mostly, and talking with my dad, and my dad mostly, but slightly less because he interrupts me more. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, so Seattle's a real cool place, and we're going to be in the same time zone, though still separated by a couple hundred miles. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Seattle... There's trees, and it smells nice, and it's a good school, and I think it's more Melly school. So that's like my exciting thing that's happened lately and is happening later. Ned da 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 Um, I also got my, uh, head newly shorn down, um, so I'm back to my nervous habit of touching my head. Um... And, oh, there was a funny thing where at uh, my family's Seder, um, Robbie's friend from college, from his fraternity, brought his boyfriend, and the guy walked in, and I'm like, you look really familiar, but he kind of walked in late, and so it was kind of during things already, and so I didn't get a chance to ask him right away, but like, by the time, you know, Seder stuff died down, I was like, all right, I'm pretty sure I know you from somewhere, and he goes, yeah, you look familiar too. And he introduces him with his full name, and I go, oh, because I did know him. I knew him when we were both in high school. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, um, so that was kind of a cool moment of reconnecting. Um, sent our mutual friend a selfie of the two of us, and that was cute. Um, oh, so the uh, donut cat toy that I showed off in the other video, uh, she has still taken, she still likes it a lot. Um, she, like, holds it and licks it. Um, and we tied a uh, her rope to it, and, you know, since she likes the rope and she likes the donut, she is, like, thrilled. This is her new favorite toy, the, the uh, donut on a rope, um, <laughs> which is kind of a funny thing. Um, but it's also adorable. I also got my uh, yarn club fiber in the mail today, and it is wool, and it is green, and it's really pretty, so I'm going to spin some yarn out of that. I'm really excited. What else have I been doing? I started a embroidery sampler, because apparently that's a thing I do now. Um, uh, in, inspired by Captain Marvel, who is Carol Danvers, a delightful, delightful lady. Um, she's all adventure and shit. Uh, I've followed like one embroidery pattern successfully, and apparently my brain thinks that makes me qualified to design this kind of thing from scratch. So, because, <laughs> you know, who am I to actually follow directions and take slow le learning curve and stuff like that? I'm pretty sure the, like, fourth crochet project I did is one of my huge lace scarves. Um, <laughs> so there's just one video left after this. Um, I'm going to, probably after my birthday, which is this Friday, do a wrap-up thing. Um, I made a spreadsheet called that I called The Relentless Passage of Time. Um, where I numbered weeks in the year and weeks in 25 and 52 and went through my Google Calendar and my Facebook events and was like, okay, so this is when this happened and this is when this happened and why do I have a Google Calendar event named that? Uh, so that's exciting. Um, and also had moments like, so 
Well, he took a vacation day in February last year. Oh, wedding! And stuff like that. And, like, I don't know. It's funny. I'll talk about it next week. Um, as part of my whole growing and changing over the course of a year. <sighs> um, not that I'm really any... Not that I'm that much more sure of myself as a person, but, you know, I'm going in the right direction, and that's cool. I don't know what else there is to talk about. Besides... Next year, school stuff. And I'm, I'm intentionally not letting myself think about moving until May. Uh, at least not think about... Not, like, Google anything involving logistics. <laughs> so, when May comes, I will be looking into pet-friendly hotels and start scheduling things out for the drive, potentially, and start pricing out moving options and all that fun stuff. Because I've, like, never moved in the way that involves renting a truck or shipping things. Um, I have only moved in the way that involves, like, loading everything into someone's car, or, as you are aware, someone's two cars. <laughs> um, and my parents offered to drive along with us in their SUV, but I'm pretty sure between Pat and I we still might have too much stuff for that, and I don't really want to push it. So, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. I think that's all. So, love you. And... Soon we'll make, be able to make plans to see each other, and that'll be really cool.